Celtic have bid it 2.5 million for Odin Thiago home, the next Norwegian wonder kid. Once linked with a massive move to Manchester United not too long ago, about two years ago, and he spends his time, brother, playing in Norway. Because, uh, yeah, that's what I do. He plays for Floringa. He's played 62 games uh, since 2019, and he is only 20, born in 2003. Absolutely mad stat. And uh, you may be wondering, why has he got Thiago as a middle name? Or you might not be wondering, but listen to this fun bit of trivia. In 2017, he was granted an application to the Norwegian resident registration to take Thiago as a middle name. The name change was based on the fact that he has the footballer Thiago Alcantara as a role model. And if you don't know who that is, that is, of course... Thiago, who played for Bayern Munich and currently plays for Liverpool. That's a bit weird, but you know, I guess weirder things have happened. But as for him, he is an attacking player. Celtic, I think this would be a good acquisition. I think anybody who gets put in the same, uh, you know, sentence and similar air to the likes of Erling Haaland and Martin Odegaard, I feel like would have to be a good signing. Um, I mean, obviously Celtic, if he is as good as them, it would be a stepping stone, but would Celtic care? I mean, if Celtic, I mean say Celtic get this 2.5 million deal through and he's half as good, a quarter, a tenth as good as those two, they will be making some serious, serious profit on this guy. And it is international career. He has played all the way through when they were under 15, under 16, under 17, under 18, under 19, and under 20. Now, to be fair, he hasn't been capped for the actual team, but you know what, there's still a lot of time for him. But Celtic, you know what, they haven't actually been making moves. You look at Rangers, Rangers have been signing players, being linked. I mean, all right, Celtic have more been linked with the fact that um, they'll be losing players. And I guess the fact today that Brendan Rodgers looks like he's set to become the manager, even though a report's just come out that Brendan Rodgers is still in third place and the fact that it's um, the big man, Davy Moyes, that Celtic have wanted all along and they were waiting until after the Conference League Final, you can believe what you want, but regardless of who's going to be the next manager, this bid has been submitted. And 2.5 million for a wonder kid, it seems good, but it might be. I mean, he is 20, like, so I wouldn't say, you know, but could this be a massive, too much a step up for him? Would it be a case of you bring him in and then you loan him out? I'm not. I'm not too sure, to be honest. I guess you would have to see. Um, initially when he comes in but as for the team I mean, they're, they're doing no bad they're doing no bad they're in um, well, I, think, I believe they're in the top division of Norway aren't they? so yeah they're in the top division of Norway so you, you, you can't dispute it too much they're doing alright and he plays so it's not like he's come for like the fourth tier and besides I think the fact he's got all these comparisons to the likes of Odegaard and Haaland I think he would have to be in the top tier for that but if you look at his stats guys he's He's got nine goals in eighty-seven games, but again, he's not exact. He's not. He's not per se a striker. He can do it all in those uh, forward positions. So yeah, guys, that is it for this bit of news. Celtic finally making a wee bit of move in the transfer market. But who, what? Who will be the first signing? Will it be this guy? Will he slot straight into the first team? I'm not really too sure. But until next time, peace.